All right, so here's an input-output table. Is this given table an example of a function? And remember that a function is a rule or a procedure so that there is, when there is an input number, there is exactly one output number. So if I say one, the, I would, you would say two. Okay, that's exactly one output number. If I say two, the output would be six. If I say three, you would say 10. And now if I say 5, here we have a problem. If I say 5, you might say 14 or you might say 18. That's more than one output number. So because of this, this is not a function. All right, what about this one? What is the rule for the uh, given input-output table? So if I say 1, you say 3. If I say 2, you say 5. If I say 3, you say 6, uh, 7. <laughs> if I say 4, you say 9. So what is the pattern? Well, it looks like it's more than just, uh, I mean, from the first number, the 1, input 1, the output 3, um, you could say times 3, but that doesn't work with the next one. 2 times 3 is 6 instead of 5. If I say 1 plus 2 is 3, well, 2 plus 2 is 5, is 4. That doesn't work. So what could it be? So some people might notice that the output number is always bigger than the input. In fact, the number to, uh, number to add to the input to get the output is always one larger than the input number. This rule might be stated in words such as... Uh, to get the output number, take the input and add it to the number that is one more than the input. So, for instance, this one here, uh, to get this three, I would go, I'd take the input one and then add the one plus one. To get the five, well, I would take the input 2 and then add 2 plus 1. To get the 7, I would take the 3 and then add 3 plus 1. So I take the input and then add one more than the input to it. This rule can be written in symbols by letting the input number be called n. The number to add to that input is one more, so n plus 1. So the input number... So for an input number n, the output would be n plus n plus 1. Others might notice that this output number is close to twice as much as the input. In fact, the output number is one larger than twice the input. So that is, like, say, this row here. If I take the 4 and times it by 2, then add 1, I end up with 9. This rule might be stated in words such as, to get the output number, take the input, multiply by 2, and then add 1 to it. So this rule can be written in symbols um, by using input number called n. Twice the number means multiply by 2, so twice the number is 2 times n. Then 1 is added to it. So for the input number n, the output is 2 times n plus 1. And that also gives us our output. So using either n plus n plus 1 or 2 times n plus 1, let's go ahead and answer. If the first column number is 10, the second column number would be, well, I'll, use, I'll go with the first one, 10 plus 11 is 21. If I try it with the second one, if I say 35, then 2 times 35 would be 70 plus 1 or 71. If the output is 101, the input would be 101 plus 102, so 203.